there's something here that's going to kill us one day. At least many of us, if we don't die of a car accident or cancer or something else. But let's look at the main story here, okay? So blood is coming from the body. It's low in oxygen. It's going to travel down the vena cava. Here's the atrium. So I'm inside the heart. If you could look inside, you'd see a chamber, the ventricle here. And then we need to pump that blood to the lungs. And so here's the pulmo, like pulmon means lung. And the lungs are close by. And that's why the patient's right side muscle is fairly small in the heart. But let's see, there's a, there's a difference on the patient's left side. So blood's coming from the lungs now. It's got full of oxygen. It's going to go through the atrium, down through the ventricle inside the heart. So coming back up. And now it's under high pressure. The musculature on the patient's left side is huge, this myocardium. And it's huge for a reason because we need to pump this blood all the way to the eyeballs and the nose and the brain and the shoulder and the tips of the toes. Okay, so in order to do that, this myocardium is going to pump very powerfully. And so that's why we have the high blood pressure in the aorta leaving the heart. But now to the, the story of the death, because in its wisdom, the heart is going to feed itself first. And look right here. You can see right when the aorta starts to leave the heart, it's going to branch off into the right coronary. Now you might say, well, this looks like left side. But think it's your patient laying in front of you. And this is their right shoulder. And this is their right coronary. It's going to branch multiple times. Here's the marginal. I like that name because it's on the margin between the atrium, that first chamber I mentioned, and the ventricle, the large chamber inside the heart. All right. Now we have another on the patient's left side. Here's the left coronary coming down. And you'll see a major branch. It's going to go off to the left side because, and that's the circumflex. I like that word because circum means around, like circumference or circumnavigate. And because we've got to feed the back of the heart, right? And so here it comes around the back side. You can't really see it from here, but imagine the blood vessel coming down and around. That's the circumflex. And then down in front is the anterior interventricular. I like that because the two ventricles, inter means between, like intermission. In between the two ventricles, you have this huge artery, also called the LAD, left anterior descending. And here's what's going to kill us one day, many of us, is that there's going to be a small blockage, because look how small these uh, blood vessels are. But they feed the heart. And the blue lines, you might wonder, what are the blue? Okay, blood with oxygen and glucose going into this myocardium muscle. And then the waste products and CO2 is going back through the blue. So if there's a blockage in these teeny spider webby looking coronary arteries, that means everything downstream is going to die. And we have a heart attack. And that's what kills us. So there you have it. Now, how do we prevent that? Well, sometimes it's genetics. But often we can control our diet and exercise and try to keep the hypertension down. Because think of the high blood pressure coming right off the aorta. Extreme high blood pressure in these poor, fragile blood vessels. If they're under enormous pressure, we may have some destruction taking place.